Hey, good morning. Today is Thursday, uh, May the 16th, 2024. This is Wes Fryer in Charlotte, North Carolina with another Wisdom with Wes message. And I want to talk about rejoicing and choosing to rejoice. So we're getting to the end of school. In fact, and boy, we, we, we have gotten a ton of rain. I can't even sit down on the bench today because it's a wooden bench, it's so wet. Um, it's, it's end of school time, you know, we're having last meetings with departments, with uh, divisions. We, uh, I'm in the gospel choir and we sang yesterday for the closing meeting of the lower school where Shelly is, our elementary school. Just love that. Um, the songs we sang, a, a song called Grateful by Hezekiah Walker and also uh, a benediction. And we had sat, we sang last week, I think, at the volunteer luncheon. And these are both lovely songs because they're about thankfulness, gratefulness, and, and in a sense, they're about rejoicing. And, you know, I, <laughs> this is what, my 28th year in education. And I have, uh, you know, seen a lot of sort of end of year assemblies, end of year meetings um, at this lower school meeting. I, I stayed for it because Shelly was there. And also um, at the end, uh, we were presenting our wonderful director for our gospel choir, Ariane Hood, um, with some flowers and a card um, as a gift and a thank you. But there were a number of folks departing our school that in the lower school that were recognized. and. And it made me think, uh, especially back when I was in Yukon. So I, I taught fourth and fifth grade STEM in Yukon, Oklahoma at Independence Elementary uh, for two years from 2013 to 2015. That was before I became a director of technology at Cassidy. And I vividly remember sitting in that auditorium, beautiful, beautiful auditorium at Yukon High School. And it was the district wide, you know, closing assembly. Everybody had come together. And so you're recognizing um, folks that are retiring and folks that have reached different milestones in their careers. And so, you know, people who've been there for 10 years, for 20 years, but there's folks that have been there for 30 years. We've got some folks who've been here at our school now for 40 years, and I think we did there too. And my wife, I think, had this thought, we were talking about this yesterday. Like, we have both had careers where we have moved around quite a bit so that, you know, we're never going to be at a place that's going to be, thank you for staying here for 40 years, <laughs> for 30 years. Um, and at one level, when you, and this is, again, I'm thinking about being in Yukon and seeing, you know, the whole, this is, a, this is like hundreds of people, I think. I th it was a lot. Um, you know, celebrating, clapping, and you realize, oh my gosh, I'm never going to get one of those <laughs> awards. Because <laughs> I'm not going to, I haven't been at a place, a single place that long. And this is just not, it's not something that's gonna happen for me. Uh, we could choose to be sad about that. And, and maybe there's just a natural tendency to feel that way. But, but there's also, a, there's a choice that we can make to rejoice. And you know, in, in a lot of situations in my life, some more than others, um, I believe that God has revealed to me that that wasn't the place that I was supposed to stay forever, that there were other places I was supposed to go, there were other roles that I needed to play, other jobs that I need to have, other people I needed to meet, other lessons I needed to teach. Um, there was a variety of different things that I needed to do. And so now, at this stage in my life, you know, being 53 years old, um, I think I'm more able to see in a situation where I've, where I've discerned, huh, you know, is this, is this where I feel called to be? Am I, am I able to fully be myself here? Can I do all the work and the things that I believe in, that I, and discern that I've been gifted to do? Can I do them here? And, you know, if that answer is no, and in the past, you know, the answer has been no uh, in some different situations. Thank you. I, I, my heart is filled with joy. My heart is filled with thankfulness because 
change is hard. It is difficult in almost every single circumstance for every single person to make a change, to go to a different job, to move to a different place. Like all of these things are hard. And sometimes, maybe frequently, for me, it has taken a significant nudge in order to make that change. And it's like you can look, it's like the half glass full or half empty. You can look back, we can lament, oh man, I'm, I'm sorry that I'm not gonna be at Yukon District for you know 20 years. And look, there were wonderful, wonderful people I worked with there, wonderful relationships, people I'm still connected with today. Um, and I'm very, very thankful for that time. But on the same note, I'm joyful and thankful that there were other good things that I had opportunities to go and do. Um, I had no idea at that time, sitting in that auditorium, um, watching you know this, these closing ceremonies and these awards, that hey, I was going to go, you know, work at Cassidy School for seven years. I was going to be the director of technology for for four years and and do a lot of things that, in addition to helping, I think, prepare us for COVID and be in a better situation, you know, for COVID. Uh, I really feel good about so many of the things that I learned and I was able to do, the relationships I built, the the people whose lives I think I helped improve, you know, and then moving into the, the middle school classroom for three years and being there with my wife. She was there five years, our daughter from seventh grade to 12th grade. Anyway, uh, end of school, it causes me to think about different end of school ceremonies um, and the choices that we have. And so my big thought today is, choose to rejoice when especially when we face change or when we face something that might make us wistful or you know and, and i think nostalgia and all these feelings these feelings are valid and and can be important but i think that we can choose the attitude that we're going to have when we're in change and by choosing to be optimistic and as a person of faith and a follower of Jesus, I believe that God calls me and has called me to do different things. And I am joyful. I want to rejoice in thanksgiving for the good relationships and the good experiences of the past, but looking forward to even better things in the future. Choose to rejoice. Have a great day.